Hey, hello, hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Ivy and in today's video I'm going to be doing a clothes DIY hat vlog. So I have a few things in my closet that I no longer have any use for and most of all I don't like the style of them anymore and two items and with these two items I'm not sure I ever like them. So since I no longer like the style and I have no use for it I'm going to be giving them a makeover. I'm not a professional so of any means I've never went to school for this and I'm just a beginner. So now what I do know, I learned from watching my grandma's home economics and just like watching sewing videos on YouTube. Now with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna begin with this oversized Tupac, I wanna say muscle shirt that I got from Forever 21 a few years ago. And ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to add a lace going down the side and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by unthreading the side of the dress going all the way down. When I finish and doing the sides, I added the pins and next I'm going to be sewing the sides. Okay, so I'm going to be using stitch number 16, which is this one right here. And now I'm going to change the length to 1 and the width to 3. Okay, so I am done sewing the side. So next I'm going to cut off these parts right here from all sides of the dress. And that's the part I'm going to use to make the lace. Right here, I'm just marking where I'm going to put the garments. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I apply the garments, which are these right here. So I have applied a few I messed up. <laughs> oh, you can see guys can see right here. Uh, so sad. This is what I look like on the back and this is what it looks like on the front. This is the one I messed up on because I didn't really know how to do it at first. So yeah, this is how, oh, you see this? This is the first one I really messed up on and that's like a really messed up part right here. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I'm going to have to figure something out, but I'll fix it in post. <laughs> but yes, and this is the second one I messed up on that until I got it. So now I got final two and I'm going to show you guys how to... Apply so I'm applying them two inches apart. So I had marked it first inch one inch apart um, from each other. So this is like the other inch in between. So I'm just gonna put them two inches apart. First, I take the scissors and I cut a little hole. This is a simple little hole on the, the material. Okay. Here's a small little hole. As you can see, like I learned from the first one, I try not to because even though I feel like the hole in the first one was like the small, so pray for me. I take this, which is the bottom part of the garment, and I put it in the little hole, right there. And I put this tool, okay, let's see, and I put this right here. I'm sorry, I have no light for you guys right now, but that's a little bit better. I just put this part right here, and I take this little um, just the top part, I lay it down like this part up. Okay, and I'll put that on there. And I take this tool and I put it over like so. And I take this tool, which is a hammer, and okay, and I think it should be done. That's it. That's how you apply the garment safe and secure. 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll show you guys the finishing product. Okay, y'all. Uh, um, all I have to do now is add, as you can see, the string to the side. I decided to use some string I already have because the leftover material was not enough to um, finish the side, so I'm gonna use this instead. So I'm practically done now. All I'm gonna do is add this and then I'm gonna show you the dress. Okay, guys, so I'm about to take this the string and I'm gonna feed it through this like so. And I'm just gonna do the whole thing until I have the size that I want. And after I have my desired size, I am going to I'm going to cut the string and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to measure it to make sure they're the same size and that's how I'm going to leave it. After I finish this size, I'm just going to take out the string that I've already done and I'm going to cut it to the exact same size so that I can have both of the sides on the dress the same size. <music> So this is the dress it's finished I just wanted to add the lace to it to give it a nice like edgy look I feel like this is sweet and simple and I love it I think it looks a hundred percent better if I do save so myself I feel like this is how it should have looked it to begin with <laughs> And this is the second and final item. It is a Drake Crew sweater I got from the thrift shop. I only got it because I needed something black to um, cover me at work and I could only wear black so I got this. Okay, so now I'm going on the sweater but yes it's a j group sweater that i got from the thrift shop i, I got it for work but, but because i had to wear all black to work every day so i originally got this for work but now that i have no purpose for it i feel like i'm kind of like it's with a lot of materials so i feel like i'm just gonna turn it into something new something i want so i'm going to cut first cut from right here right here this button right here and i'm going to keep that part as like a cover over and I'm going to cut the sleeves off right here. I might have the sleeves, I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll let you guys know if I have the sleeves or not. So, but most likely I'm going to have the sleeves. And um, I'm definitely going to cut it from right here. I'm going to give you guys a close up in a second so you guys can see exactly what I'm cutting it. So you guys can see because there's a pattern right here. I hope you guys can see, but you guys probably cannot. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I don't know what, what to call it. I am not no designer. I have not went to school for this. I guess kind of pleated. Is that what they call them? I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to cut it basically practically in half. And then I'm going to use the bottom half to make like a bra set. And I'm going to cut half the sleeve. Okay, I'm on light server right now because I don't have the light on, which I should have. Let me see if I can. I don't know if this helps or not. <laughs> but um, I have some craft paper here that I'm going to use to measure the size of the, the bra because I'm going to make the top like this. It's like going to be like a swimsuit top. So that's what I'm using the rest of the material to do. So now I'm about to use this to make the cutout on the craft paper. So that I can use that as the shape for the bra top that I'm going to make. Okay guys, so I finally have my thing secure enough, like I draw around it. So now I'm going to remove the pins and I'm just going to put them my thing right here. After I remove the pins, I'm just going to cut the shape out and then after I cut the shape, I'm going to cut it onto the next material. Ooh. Okay you guys, so I've already went ahead and like put the pins on the sides, I just pulled them up 
I don't want them to be too much because I feel like they're already too small. I accidentally made them too small. I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera lens and I'm sorry about that too. I think they're both the same size for the most part. Let me see how they are. And I'm just going to make like one cut out. Like I was going to double the material but I don't feel like I have enough material to double it because I'm still going to use some of the material to make the lace um, thing that goes through it to make the bra on top for the strings around the neck and the string going around the waist or I guess the upper area. Anyways, um, I already have the stitch set in so let me show you the stitch setting. So I'm using stitch number six which is this one right here. I'm using the length 1.8 in 6G and the width um, 3.5. I'm going to keep it at the original width because I feel like it's like perfect for what I'm doing. Okay, you guys. So this is kind of an example slash like something I'm doing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make some bows to add to the front of the bra to see how that looks. But I also had forgot to shoot um, how I made the lace to go around the bra and like, you know, the lace for the strap. So this is also like how I made that. So this is exactly how I made the lace right here. I already started. As you can see, I already have two lines. Um, this is the pen because I can't find... <laughs> I can't find my pen part, but this is the the pen that I use. I use the um the silver ink because that's the only ink that's showing up on here. No other ink is. I already marked it by using this the ruler. I marked it an inch apart, and then now I'm gonna mark the line so that I can use the rolling cutter right here. I don't know what to call this. I call it the pizza cutter. <laughs> I forgot the name of it because when I look up the set to buy it to look up um to get the tools to sew in because like I said, I'm a beginner. I knew the name, but I forgot it. But yeah, I call this the pizza cutter. <laughs> but it's a clothes cutter, so it has a blade. So I'm going to use this after, you know, and to cut it. But let me finish. I'm going to show you guys what I do. Okay guys, so I have finished sewing this thing all the way through and now I gotta turn it because you know I can't leave it on the side when, you know the way it looks you can't that ain't cute so now I gotta turn it over to the other side and this is how I do it so I take one end I leave a little space I fully sew it all the way to the end I lift a little space a little opening for me to be able to fold it in and I'm gonna use that and fold it in and keep going until I get it in like oh, the entire top part inside and down a little bit the reason I'm doing it like this I know some people's gonna be like it's an easier way to do this especially if you're sore I've looked I see a different technique and I've done this differently before but with this material it's kind of like hard to just simply push the thing through and then loop it so I put some of it inside of there just enough make sure like all of it is getting down in there all right, I feel it. It's there. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to look it up. I'll let y'all know in the bio. I take this now. I close this part. Make sure it's closed. It's a cro oh, this is a crochet needle, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's like kind of like a crochet needle. I know I use something like this when I crochet my hair. So, yeah, I take the crochet needle. And I'm going to hook it inside the part that I fold inside. All right? In that part so I fold it in Just make sure you feel it like I'd like to go up and beside it and see if I can feel it I like to pull from like the edge right here you see that edge that frilly edge part I like to grab onto that and pull it in as you guys can see it's coming in through it I'm saying you go and make sure it's like even so it's not like and stuff and then <laughs> it fell. 
But yes, it's done. And that's it. Let's turn to the other side. And that's how I make the bra straps and just like the parts that were around it. I just do that. So like that with the... By the way, yes, I know I've almost forgot to say that, that I used the number two stitching on this. I tried to use a gathering stitch. The gathering stitches just wasn't coming up properly. It's like it was like either taking up too much of the material to the point where I know I'm not going to be able to flip it. And that would have been frustrating. So, yeah, so for now, I'm just going to continue flipping the others. And um, I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so these two are going to be the sleeves and I have three of them for around the waist. And I have some spare just in case. Okay, so I couldn't sew it you guys, so I'm just going to um, put it through like this. Like I was doing when I was going to sew it. Close it. I can't do it on the sewing machine, so I'm going to be sewing it by hand. I'm just going to loop it like that gonna fold it like this so that the, the both pieces will be attached together and for now I'm just gonna take one of my safety pin well it's not a safety pin one of my um I don't know what they call these pins but one of my pins and I'm just gonna put it through for now and then once I start sewing I'm just gonna take it out okay uh, so I'm gonna use stitch to the same stitch I used before to sew the um to sew the strap to each side of the bra I'm gonna put the side that I feel is the thickest, which there shouldn't be one y'all, but if there is, which there is one for me, I don't know why. <laughs> that would be the side I use and I always sew everything twice to make sure that it's properly in place and that the strap is attached to the bra properly. Okay, now you guys, I'm gonna use the same tool that I used to um, string the material through to when I was going to turn it on the other side after I stitch it so you know I have that seamless stitch that like, you can't. See the stitch where it is so i'm going to use that i'm going to put it through the central top right here then i'm going to take this part and just hook it onto this close it and just pull it through okay you guys so i've decided to put this going across like this line so i'm just about to uh, sew that on and see how it looks I feel like I want to do something else to it, but I'm not sure yet. For now, I just took the extra material I have for making these right here and just put that around there. And I still got some work to do to fix this up to make it look neat. And then I'll let you guys know because I'm going to sew this down right here, these both sides, so that it looks more like clean cut edge. And I got, I accidentally messed up and I so I don't know if it's this side. No, it's not this side. It's this side right here. I, as you can see, I sewed this on the wrong side. I'm so upset about that. Oh, I think I'm after unattach this. Hopefully, it doesn't rip up the material. I'll see if it looks like it's gonna do some damage. I'm gonna have to just leave it and just hope for the best when it comes to that. But yeah, I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, right here, if you guys can see clearly where I made the mistake on the other side, it's not like that. It's going opposite side. You see? Oh yeah, that looks so much better. But yeah, you can see the other this side is so on the opposite side. Oh, ever on this side, I accidentally slow it on the front so I'm gonna change that up and then sew these on properly and then come back okay you guys so I was able to um get it on the right side so yay and the material was not damaged as you can see so I'm happy about that so let's go we're gonna finish fixing this up and I might add some jewels because this wire was kind of damaged because it wasn't sewn properly I tried to use glue to fix it but now it looks like this so I'm gonna have to add something hold on the TV in the background Anyways, so I'm going to have to add something to cover this up. So I'm either thinking of garments or jewels. We'll see when I finish. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. So I am done sewing this part on. I had accidentally made this part too long. So I had to go in and sew it again. So now I got to cut this part out. But besides that, and I just got to do some cleanup work right here. It's got to be cleaned up. And then I'm, I'm going to use glue for this part right here. Glue that down. On the sides instead of sewing it and for this right here i think i might just fix this part right here that right there just with, with a, maybe a bit of glue i'm not sure if i'm gonna sew that or use glue and right here also 
and then I'm gonna trim up the sides to make sure this like have a really clean finish and I'm still trying to figure out what to do about as you can see this right here where I had to glue it because I sew it then I had to pull through as you guys have seen in the other video this is the only line that looks that is nothing wrong with it and then in that these two as you can see some where I used one of the pins to hold this down and left even a mark so yeah the, this part look crazy to me so I'm trying to figure out what to do about that looks I know uneven but it's not it's just the way I pinned it but yeah that's it that's how it looks when I finish it I'm gonna try it on I already tried it on it fits properly the only thing I'm gonna say is I think this side right here is bigger than this side if I'm not mistaken just by a little bit I accidentally like was off by the measurements that's what I found out when I tried it on but when everything is finished I'm gonna try it on let you guys see soon I'll be start working on this part which is the top part of this part for now I'm trying to finish this off so I'm gonna do some cleanup work on um the sides and then after I um, finish the cleanup work I'm gonna see what else to do to it because I just definitely want to figure out a way to just hide this okay so I found a way to make this look even or at least more even than it looked it before this is the part that's like where my boobies is that's why this part looks like that I still have not figured out what I'm gonna do to make these part right here look better i'm trying to figure it out as i could see and touch this i feel like i get more flaws on it like uh, i'm over it right now <laughs> up here is finished this one looks nice this one corroded i'm kind of saying the glue was a bad idea just messed it up and left this kind of mucky looking snot like part like it wasn't even gluing properly so i had to end up sewing it anyways which is like uh, what i should have done from before this one i love the way this one came out it looks great this one however have some flaws like but i'm okay with it it's like it's not the end of the world flaw <coughs> this is the end of the world flaw not it coming out but this part right here with the stuff oh gosh i gotta figure that out it's like the mess in the glue but it's like right in the front so pray for me and we'll figure it out <laughs> i'm gonna start working on the jacket part that cover it over next which is this part right here i'm just gonna start working on that while i think about this okay so i started working on this jacket i pinned it and really all i'm gonna do is just sew around here so the entire thing okay you guys so I'm practically finished. I had to say this in some too, surprisingly. Right? It turns out it was really too big. I thought it was like, oh, it's my movie area. But once I took in this part, I, it also like seemed like this part needs to be taken in some. The top, I didn't really have to do much to it besides like, you know, sew this down right here. So that's fine. That's done. I marked on the jacket right here. I'm going to cut on both sides. The bra part, I have... I'm basically finished. I just gotta figure out like what I'm gonna do with this part right here. These two, I'm gonna leave this blank the way it is, and these two, I'm gonna do something to them. But we'll see. Just let's go. have it a boat <laughs> complete boat and I'm gonna show you guys one more time just boom it does a one more again <laughs> I have four finished bowls, which is all I think I need. If I need more bowls, I have more material so I can make more. But this is what they look like. I I like the way they look. I think I need to clip a little bit off the ends to make it look more neat. So I'm just going to clip this right here. Try to get them to be like the same size for the most part. Not all of them is going to be the exact same size, but nothing is perfect, right? This is so cute! Ugh. 
this is um how i want to place the bow i think you guys like because mainly i know so i could add the imperfections that's on it like i love the way this is i feel like maybe i need to put it up more this is so cute i don't know if it's like too much if it's looking like too much bow right here or whatever but i need it i need something there to cover it but yeah, if, I, if i change it i'll let you guys know but for right now i'm just gonna sew everything onto it by hand because i can't use the sewing machine to sew like you know these parts on because it's gonna it's gonna um it's gonna be too much to go over that with the sewing machine so i'm gonna hand sew these on myself right now this is most likely what it's gonna look like i'll let you guys see when it's finished so if it changed you guys will know okay you guys so this is the transformation on the cardigan i kind of made it look completely different but i absolutely love it i did take one of the bows from like the top and put it in the middle on that part that i said i was going to leave alone it did cover a lot of the imperfections even if it didn't cover it it just like took away from it which is like great it looks wonderful i love the way it came out and i can't wait to make something that like this again And that's the video everyone that's how i made uh, these wonderful and beautiful outfits thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe i'm trying to be more frequent with my youtube videos i'm trying to make more videos like this one and like just many more so if um you want to see more of me please follow me on my social media i have a tiktok id curry one and my instagram id underscore curry and you can find me on a few more websites just by typing my name, Ivy Perry. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye.